Welcome back to another day on the bus build. We've got the three stooges here, my dad, Dale, and me. I'm sure Dale's gonna have some type of comment to that where he's not a stooge, he's actually a supervisor. And this is the supervisor in training, even though he's actually a supervisor in real life. And then you just got me. No, if that's the case, then I'm Mo, he's Larry, and you're Curly. <laughs> Well, today, the three of us are gonna be heading out to the store really quick to go grab some supplies because my dad came up to help out on the bus build. I don't have enough supplies for three people, so we gotta go get some more. And then we're gonna be installing the kitchen sink, getting the faucet going, and my dad's actually gonna start doing the bathroom. And we're gonna start getting that kind of figured out, get the pan made, and see what we come up with. Well, we got the supplies from the store. Uh, we've got our sink in this box, faucet here, and then what I did, uh, me, Dale, and my dad, uh, we ended up buying this shower frame uh, system kit. So I've never actually used these before, so I can't like recommend it. Uh, tell you that this is gonna be the best thing to use or that this might be the best option. Uh, what we were kind of discussing was the size of the bathroom in uh, Ivan is not a normal size, so it's kind of really hard to get a custom base made or things like that. So we're gonna not be using like a fiberglass base, we're gonna custom make our own base and go through the entire process of doing that. We're gonna try it out. I'm gonna let you guys know at the end of the video what we think of it, or even in the next or future video when we uh, end up using it or tiling. And then down the road in the future, um, this is gonna be something I'm gonna be keeping an eye on and seeing if it's a, a product that I think is really gonna work for the future and that I might use again and again and again. But you know, uh, we'll try it out and see what happens. Hey Dale. I was just telling everyone that we're trying out an, a new thing for me in terms of products on this shower system. What do you think? As far as the shower goes, uh, I don't know if you told them, but it's not, the shower in the bus isn't exactly square. It's really close, but this allows us the ability to cut the mats to the proper size and then go from there. So it looks like a good system, but that they're again, one of those things that until we actually install it and see how it goes, we're, we're hoping for the best. Let's put it that way. I think that my dad and Dale are actually going to start trying to tackle some of the shower stuff and just do a lot of the, the thinking and brain power there. And yeah, I'm uh, good at that. I was going to say, yeah, that's what Dale's good at. And I'm going to start actually cutting the holes and getting the sink and faucet installed so we can get that all tied up and done. And uh, I'm really excited to see how this is going to come together because we're using some, uh, you know, just new systems, new products, and we'll see how it goes. All right, so when I'm filming this, my brain is telling me, hey, Mike, this is just going to be B-roll, just time-lapse this whole thing. But then me and Dale just took the sink out of the box, and it comes with its own faucet. I bought one. I know this isn't that big of a deal, but, like, if you know how much faucets cost, this is awesome. So this one that I bought... I can just return it now. This is so exciting. Spend that money somewhere else. Yeah, woo! -hoo. Okay, so once upon a time, I bought that. Yes. Right? Yes. It looks great, yes. isn't it? It's awesome, it looks great. Yes, it does. So then I go, hey, Mike, you need a faucet, right? I bought that faucet over there. Yes. I take this this thing out. Yes. And inside the sink, is what is that faucet? faucet? It comes oh, with it. Home run. It comes with it. So I had no intention or no thought that that box was going to be like an all-in-one unit came with everything because I bought all the parts individual, actually. So this is like, man, does anyone else love it when you get to like, immediately return something you're just like wow that's a great thing like usually i'm just swiping my card now i get to go back and swipe it and they put things back on it's great all right but the plan is the sink is going to go right here so we're going to get it installed right there and then my dad and dale are going to start figuring this whole system out and uh getting that put in so i'm excited to see how that shower system works and how the sink you know starts getting in there so i gotta get the jigsaw dale the supervisor's got to get these guys moving why are you still filming why are you still filming? 
You and me got way more to do than sit here filming. <laughs> Put the camera down, turn it on, and let it roll. <laughs> So far, I just got the whole cut using the template that they gave in the box. Kind of love it when they give you templates. Uh, but now we got the hole in the top, so now we got to make sure that the sink fits. And then I can start working on actually getting it mounted, caulked, and actually set in place. I also think I need to find the shop vac because there's just stuff all over the plumbing. Well, got the sink placed in. It's not mounted or anything, of course, but we can see what it's going to look like stove sink and i only found one issue with the measurements well not measurements the size of the sink is uh my dc panels right here so i can't really get to it at this point so before i actually finalize this sink in uh, i'm just going to move the panel down to about here so it'll be easier to get to and more accessible but i think it's going to work perfectly i mean i've got all the storage right in here uh we're eventually going to put a top plate here when we're all done so we still got some center storage space and uh Plenty of room for gray lines and things like that. I mean, man, I can't ask for something better there. All right, Dad. Well, how's it going in here? Well, it's not too bad, actually. It's, it's actually very square. Uh, pretty incredible. Yeah, absolutely. Where's the drain, where is the drain going to end up? Oh, the drain. It's great. Uh, exactly where you said it was going to end up. Um, right about here will be the drain. And then we'll put some, some more plywood on this wall and this wall here and get ready to go. Yeah, what are you thinking? I'm thinking of an old song from my childhood that said, a lot less talking and a little more action is what I'm thinking. While my dad is putting the electrical lines in, I'm gonna grab all of the sink, faucet, drain stuff, uh, and, add, and I'm gonna install all of this now. And I think at this point, I'm just, I've learned, uh, install or dry fit these as much as possible because once I get it in there, I've got like two inches in the back to try to get the nut on that guy, and it's just, it's a mess. So I'm gonna try to pre-install a lot of this so that when I actually get the sink in, it's uh, you know pretty much done. got the sink in and if you ever wondered how these like recoil things work it's just a weight on a cord and that's uh they just come up with everything these days and you know what's also cool it comes with a soap dispenser i really don't think i'm ever gonna use it but like that's fancy hey dale you ever gonna use a soap dispenser not until you fill it up with soap oh, well there you go I just got all the mounting brackets uh, installed underneath and cleaned up all the caulk uh, on the edges. The sink's in. Uh, next thing on the list is gonna be to start getting all the actual plumbing uh, wired in, connected and wired in. My dad's doing a bunch of wiring. Hey dad, how's that wiring going? Uh, wiring's going great. I'm gonna do some plumbing and not wiring and get these things put in. And then, uh, yeah, once we get some electric going to the pump, bada bing, bada boom, system runs.
Well, I got the sink officially in, done, cool, works, awesome, super happy about that. My dad is still going on the shower and he's gonna be probably working on getting some of the, just the square and the framing, just the, the prep work done for a bit longer. Um, what I wanna do is something I've been trying to do for a long time, but we finally have spring, summer weather where I can do it, is uh, take this door off and actually switch it. I've seen people in the comments, they're all asking me, Mike, why would you put the ladder on this side, but then have the entrance right there, and now you can't get to your ladder with the door? It's because I've always been planning on switching this door and actually just taking the hinges off, just taking these, all these bolts out, and then flipping the door, and then putting it back in over here. And then the door opens the other direction. It can't be done on every bus, because some buses have some angles that don't allow it to happen, but this bus, the back's perfectly flat, so all I gotta do is take the lock out, switch it, and then I'm gonna be putting a new lock in in the future, so we're gonna get onto this. Also, the uh, the lock, I was kind of already playing with it a little bit. All the uh, screws and Allen key spots to actually take it apart are all rusted and you know kind of seized up. So we get to pull the grinder out. I haven't pulled the grinder out in a few months, so it should be some fun. Hey. We got the door out. Obviously, we put it back in. Uh, Dale made a point. Maybe, like, instead of switching the hinge and going through all the effort, maybe you just reverse the door. I mean, it does kind of look funny. I just no, it doesn't look funny. It just looks different. Unique. It's unique. unique. It's unique. Don't say different. It's unique. How many other buses are you gonna see like this? I'm just, you know. I don't know. I'm just trying to save you three, four, half a day's work. You know, Dale. that's what I get paid to do is, is come up with these ideas and, you know, you make the final decision as clients. It's up to me. This is what I do. I kind of like it. It is different. We took the door out. We put it down. We put it back up. We put it down. And I'm at the point now where I honestly don't know what to do. I kind of like the idea of leaving it like this because one, it is kind of different. Uh, two, I can just put the hinge right back in and then move the lock. I don't have to drill any new holes or anything, which is kind of nice. So I want to get everyone else's opinion. Dale, what do you think? Well, since it was my idea to do that, <laughs> I think you got a winner on your hands right now. Rachel. I like it. I think it's different, but it looks really cool. I actually like the bigger glass being on the bottom um, because of the two windows on the top. It actually doesn't look as like heavy. I like it. Yeah, that's it. Dad. I, I, I'm leaning to liking it too. I'm thinking more on the safety side because you're still going to be able to look out the back when you're driving to some extent. I, I think it kind of gives you that that's a window on the top, you know, yeah. kind of like in the showers, you know. Yeah. The, you know, I'm, I'm kind of liking it, Mike. I think, uh, I think decision wise, I'm going to go with let's just do it. Do it. Let's do it. Let's just do, do, it. It. do it. Who cares? And right, not who like cares, it, but like, yeah, if you don't, if like, you don't it, like it, it's just a couple of screws. Exactly, we just move it, we just move it next month or something. And there's you know? no waterproofing issues, there's nope. no, yeah, let's just do it. Do, do it. it. Well, uh, Mike's shower obviously is going to be in this corner, and we want the drain to be right here in this general area where you already checked underneath the bus, and the main support beams run here and right about here. So where we're going to be putting the drain falls right between the beams, which is just perfect. It worked out great. And now it's going to be 60 inches by 24 inches uh, wide, which is, I could stand in here. I could take a shower in here, no problem. So right now what we're going to do is we bought a Schluter uh, shower system with the foam uh, pan and everything else. So the water will drain and drain right into here and we're right now going to take our final measurements and then we're going to go cut the Schluter pan set that in and then find out exactly where the center of our drain will be cut that out and then we'll be ready to set down the Schluter pan in the mortar bed and and get that portion of the project moving
You know, sometimes as a supervisor, we get overloaded and we take on too many responsibilities at one time. As a uh, novice cameraman, I made a cardinal mistake by not ensuring that the microphone was on. So I'm gonna try to talk you through what you, uh, unless you're lip reading, what you missed. The fact is we decided to turn the door around today. We got that done, we accomplished it. We turned the door over so that the big window is now at the bottom of the door, which technically will wind up giving Mike a little more privacy when he's asleep at night because the mattress and the bed will cover that window. You know, we you'll see us rivet the door back in. We cut it out, we riveted back in. Very simple to do on this bus because the door's square, the back's flat. Just like, you know, it, it wasn't that complicated, but it was an essential part of the build that we wanted to get on film and I totally screwed it up for Mike. So, Michael, I apologize. Uh, I, I'm so upset that I, I'm probably gonna have to go across the street and take a nap at this point and then just get back on it tomorrow. I, 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 I really do appreciate it. And I'm at this point, I don't know what the, else to say, but why are you still filming? Why are you still filming? Just so everyone knows, I'd never be mad at Dale. It's not that big of a deal. It's just audio in a video, but this is pretty funny. I think he's actually upset. We're, we're, we'll, uh, we'll go cheer him up later. <laughs> cool part is we got the door flipped around and one reason why I really wanted to do this was because the ladder is right here and when the door was on before there was no way to go from the inside to the outside without actually jumping out around the door or coming around the bus so now at this point I can just come straight out my bus grab the ladder and go straight on up uh, also my workbench is right here and the workbench is now accessible so when I walk around the bus I can just go right into the workbench and all of my tools I can actually hang right up here so I'm gonna put some hanging uh, clips here and stuff so that when I'm working, I can just hang it right there. It's all good to go. And then I have free motion uh, around the side of the bus. Gets, you know, you use the most. You're gonna use the passenger side the most because that's where my table is. That's where my main door is. Uh, so now this whole side of the bus, including the back, is now kind of my usable space for working, uh, getting things done and getting up onto the rooftop deck. It's just a little too tight. So I'm good down here? I think so. Okay. I think you are. All right, so I'll just do a little bit more. Uh... Looks like I did my job. And now my dad just has to make the hole up top a little bigger and then it's all gonna fit. That's exciting. So dad, yeah, I was underneath the bus, but I just, you were just <laughs> like you always are. I know I'm always under the bus. <laughs> so we got the piece in. Yes. This piece has to get laid down with the mortar and then this piece gets set into here again with mortar and then this was the drain. And then once this is set, we can seal off our curb with the uh, Curdy backer, which is also the vapor barrier, finish the wooden walls set the valves for the shower head in and start putting the curdy up for the vapor barrier and then we can tile right on top of that. Well, this has been awesome because now we have pretty much, you know, started pretty well figured out the shower base. 
We got the sink in and we also got the back door switched around. So we definitely got quite a few projects checked off the list right now. In two days. I know, it's, it's a very good feeling to start moving ahead. I mean, we've definitely got a deadline. We've got a few weeks to finish the whole thing up and get out on the road. So, uh, you know, just once again, wanna say thanks to my dad and to Dale uh, out there for just helping out in the video, helping out today on the project, just helping get this thing just farther along. Yep. But in the next video, uh, we're gonna continue back in the bathroom, get the office continued to put back together and just keep moving on this bus. So just remember, if you wanna subscribe, you can check out uh, more build videos over here and subscribe on up here. And as always, I just wanna say thank you to everyone over on Patreon. And if you guys are interested, you can check out Patreon down in the description and see what's going on over on the community over there. With that said, uh, I don't know if you'll see him next time, but uh, we'll see you next time.